Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Icons Harley Quinn. Now on the side of the box it says that this is from No Man's Land and on the back here you can see everyone else in the wave. I've recently reviewed this Superman right here so if you want to see that go ahead and check it out on my channel. But let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here's Harley out of the packaging and honestly for an Icons figure this actually is pretty damn nice. So we have some interchangeable hands with the figure. So we have a gripping hand for the uh, the hammer, the mallet for the left side and then you have it on the right side in red which is already on the figure. You have the uh, trigger finger hand which is already in the left side. There is only one for that so you can hold the hammer in either hand but there's only one for the gun and that is on the left and then you get a pair of fists as well obviously one red one black so that you have one for each side if you just take a closer look here at the trigger finger hand you can see it uh, works really really well with the gun provided it reaches the trigger well and as you can see the gun looks pretty nice there as well the cork has some really nice detail in there makes it look quite realistic and you've got some nice paint wash on the silver on the gun so it's a little bit grimy a little bit dirty which is pretty nice the mallet itself you have the nice red handle there which does actually have some black in there with the wraps which makes that look pretty cool and then over on the end we have a really really nice wood effect and uh, it's painted really really nicely it has some decent weight to it and it fits inside the hand pretty well if you start getting down here it does get quite thin but it's not going to come out at all um, she doesn't really hold it very well it may slip down but if you get her into a certain pose you can rest it in place but she will hold it wherever it's just much easier to hold here as you can see it doesn't really slip out of the hand if she holds it at the grip so as for the paint detail on the figure, I think the eyes are painted a lot better than on that Superman. You can't really see all the dots or anything in there. Uh, you got some nice washes and stuff around those eyes as well. You got a bit of red on the cheeks and the lips are painted pretty nicely. These parts right here are soft rubbery plastics and they're not going to get in your way and they're not going to snap off or anything so that's quite nice. However I would be kind of careful of these pieces on the head because they are actually just the harder plastic like the rest of the figure. So uh, if you handle those when you turn the head you may snap those off. I don't really know just how strong those would be so make sure you actually hold the head like that when you turn it. So coming down the lines are pretty clean. I don't really have much complaints for those. The diamonds are done really well all across the figure. And overall, I mean, it's a pretty simple design. It is Harley's classic design. You do get a bit of a, you know, overpaint there on the the legs right there. That doesn't look all too perfect. But other than that, really, everything is done pretty nicely. There's nothing that I would uh, change about it. And I think if you were to compare this to maybe the older DC Universe Classics versions or something, I think this is definitely a better version. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. Head's on a ball joint so it can look left and right. Not much up, not really that much down either, but it can pivot side to side. Shoulders come out to the side and rotate all the way around. You've got a rotation in the upper part of the arm. Double jointed elbows which work really, really well. Take note, Superman. Uh, rotation and the hinge there at the wrist. So as for the upper part of the torso, it can move left and right, pivot left and right, and crunch a little forward and back, and then down at the bottom section, it crunches forward a little bit, but moves back quite a lot. I wish it moved forward as much as it moved back, but it's pretty decent articulation nonetheless. The hips move out to the side all the way. They go forward, they do kind of rotate outwards, but because it's on just a, a ball joint in here, you can kind of rotate the leg around a little bit, so it, it does still go straight. Uh, so that's pretty nice I guess. Uh, you have the double jointed knees there that work well. The feet move up and down and you also get a good ankle pivot. And so here is Harley next to Superman and Batman as you can see there really reiterating. I really think that this Superman is kind of undersized but let's remove him and put Joker in his place who's much bigger and uh, these two look absolutely great together. Again Batman I think is a little undersized right here. Even if you consider this to be Dick Grayson, it's still pretty small to be honest next to Harley. But nonetheless, these two figures right here look absolutely fantastic together. And uh, if you buy one, I definitely think that you should go ahead and pick the other up. I have already reviewed this Joker over here, by the way, if you want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you want to get any of these figures here, you can go ahead and pick them up at Big Bad Toy Store. There's a link in the description below. I definitely recommend this Harley figure. I think it is one of the better Icons figures. It looks fantastic. It's got a good mold and 
uh, articulation is pretty decent in comparison to other Icons figures, so uh, I th definitely think that it is worth the buy. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like, and if you want to see more stuff from anything else from my collection, check out my Instagram and my Twitter, it's homerino 123 for both, and the links are in the description below as well. And for more DC collectibles reviews, go ahead and subscribe, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.